What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Modes Film Session, and today we're going to be talking about Terrell Edmonds and his performance uh, against the Miami Dolphins. The productivity continues to show, um, he continues to keep getting better in all elements of his game, man, and this is one of those ones where I was really impressed with what he was able to do, so make sure you like this vid if you have not done so, subscribe, and also, man, we got a new website too, baby, ArthurMotes.com. Make sure you check it out, man. A ton of content, a ton of interactive stuff going on up there, man. You definitely don't want to miss out on that thing, all right? But without further ado, that's Edmonds right there, a.k.a. Hell Rail. Let's get it. Play this in full speed. And after that, we're going to break it down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alrighty, so let's talk about it. Defensively, the Steelers are playing two man. Edmonds, half field safety here. This is Mika, half field safety over here, okay? And those half fills are really small circles. So let me redraw those. All right. Half of the fill, half of the fill. Everybody else, man to man, big dog. We man to man over these dudes. Let's get after it, all right? And then I think that is Spillane that has the running back, all right? So that's the defense, just basic two-man. The way it plays out, though, Edmonds plays this essentially like a double team, hard double, because this player that's in motion right now is Tyreek Hill, okay? And we understand who Tyreek Hill is, league-leading receiver in terms of receiving yards coming into this particular game, and one of the, if not the fastest player in the NFL. So on the motion, we get this, Edmonds, or excuse me, Levi Wallace versus uh, Levi Wallace versus Tyreek Hill. All right. So Edmonds understands who that player is. Edmonds also understands his depth right now. When you're playing Tyreek Hill, you don't want to be within what's that? Ten yards, seven yards. That's that's not a cushion. You want to be back here where Minka's at, baby. Get some time. All right. So Edmonds understands that. Edmonds also understands who he is, speed wise. Watch when Edmonds opens up. He's already there. He's ready to roll because he sees how this guy has ate up that cushion and he's already ahead of Levi Wallace. When you're like this in the NFL, this is open, all right? Edmonds understands this, so Edmonds already is rolling. He's going, and he's going to the angle. He's racing him to a point, and that's how when you ask yourself, man, how does a Terrell Edmonds, how does a Devin Bush and certain elements be able to keep up with the Tyreek Hill the angles matter. Everyone's fast at this level. But when you understand the angles, that's how you can make up for the difference in certain elements. And that's what Edmonds does here. Puts himself in position, turns his head at the last second to ultimately get that PBU right there and keep this Dolphins offense from having a really, really explosive play right there, man. But like I said, good work by him in terms of just understanding the detail of two men. He has to stay on top. He has to be the deepest of the deepest on this side of the field. He also understands who is a threat to him. It's three receivers over here. He's not caring about Mike uh, Mike Kosicki. He's not worried about Trent Sherfield or Trent Sherfield. Excuse me. He is over here like, yo, this is the guy right here. Tyree Kill. Not this receiver. Not this receiver. This one right here. And from there, he commits early. But I'm glad that he did, man. Because that was a big time play down the grass, man, right there. And no PI. That's the other critical element of this. It's one thing to know what you're supposed to do. It's another thing to execute it and execute it without penalty, man. So I definitely want to shout him out on that one. But really good job by Edmonds on this particular play. All right. Now, this play right here just shows Edmonds uh, in coverage on uh, Mike Gesicki. The PBU that he had in the end zone slash hits off Gasecki's face mask. But either way, it was dope. We're going to talk about it, man. So without further ado, that's Evans right there. All right. We'll play it in full speed. And after that, we'll get to it. Shout out to Evans, though, baby. All right, so for Edmonds, man, he basically ends up <clears throat> just by the formation that the Dolphins are in. He ends up being man to man on the tight end, Mike Gesicki. And Gesicki is just running a bang in, all right, just right there, trying to push to get to his toes and then ultimately find that nice little sweet spot, all right? But Edmonds does a good job right here, man, just in the sense of he understands that he has to be on the outside of this, but he also understands that he has a help in terms of Mika, the center field safety right here, okay? 
So as he's squeezing down on this, he knows, man, I do have this guy here, but I have to collapse this and I have to be hard. Now, this is a hard route in terms of defending it by this coverage because he is naturally outside in. And this is an in-breaking route. So what I mean is he already is going to be on the outside. You're trying to get the PBU with your offhand or worst case scenario, you're trying to tackle this guy and drive him away from the goal line, flat or backwards, all right? And sometimes it's just like that, man, just based on whatever the call is. But what I do like is this, man. This guy is doing whatever it takes fundamentally, effort-wise, and technique-wise to influence this. Like I said, I don't, I'm not sure if he 100% gets a hand on it. I know it does hit off of Gaseki's face mask and a, certain, and a certain element of it. And I do feel like that is because of this guy right here in terms of him just diving across, man, getting a hand in there. And that's what you need sometimes, man. It's not always going to be perfect. It's not always going to be the prettiest or it not necessarily has to be you getting an interception but you influencing this you getting that hand in there that little bit a game of inches as we've heard plenty of times this is what we're talking about but good job in terms of his leverage in terms of staying square eyes and then ultimately going out there and being a playmaker don't wait on it go get it but i definitely like this a lot from him man mm-hmm mm-hmm Let's get it, baby. Let me play it one more time at full speed, just for the culture. Just for the culture. Why not? Because who don't love a little defense? Huh? You know, I love me some defense now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go. All right, now this last play from Edmonds just shows him doing what he does exceptionally well, which is tackle, baby. So <clears throat> he's at the top of this thing right here. He'll start to come down on the screen a little bit more, but I just circled him there. We'll play it in full speed. And after that, man, we'll break it down. But, man, really impressed with this dude right here, man. All right. So, like I said, man, just him showing his nose for the ball. Now, off this motion, he has to come into the box. And his gap is this one right here, the B gap, all right? One back, wing, uh, one back, one gap, right? In terms of just Mahim Morster because this tight end, he's on the line of scrimmage. We're not worried about that. 80, he's still very tight. So you're necessarily not worried about him coming back across the formation, even though he could. And that's something you would have to be alert for. But <clears throat> for Edmonds, this B gap is where he is going to be residing. This one right here, all right? So with that being the case, what does he get? Fast flow away. He does have a flash of color though, right? So with that flash of color, that's why he understands I need to settle. I don't need to beat this guard anymore in terms of trying to get on the front, or excuse me, that tackle trying to get on the front side anymore of 72. He's not worried about that because he saw this color, this tight end did come back. So with that being the case, that's why Edmonds rocks back. And now he is in position, baby, to go be a playmaker. And then from there, low man wins every single time, baby. Good bended knees, <clears throat> flat back, head up, wrap up, all the stuff that you need in terms of fundamental tackles. But excellent job by him right here, man. This is why when people say, hey, man, could Edmonds play in the box as a full-time linebacker? And we say, yes, he could because he's extremely athletic. He, you know, he can cover. He's fast, strong, but he also has this, man, that run ability, just ability to find the ball, gap responsibility. He knows right now, I'm supposed to be in this B. He's tempoing it, but he has big vision. He sees this tight end. He's supposed to be in this gap. He sees this dude right here coming back, though. And that's what makes him pause and come back, man, like a true LB. I'm just throwing it out there. And now he even sees this gap right here, vision. He sees this, but he fills his own d in there. So he keeps rocking back. Won't need to in the hole. That ain't never been good. I'm speaking, I'm just leaving it at that, all right? <laughs> but either way, baby, this is beautiful play right here by uh, Edmonds, man. Like I said, we know he could do this, but I always want to, you know, highlight it, man. You never want to overlook some of the things that he consistently does or take that for granted because we've seen at times, man, when the tackling at the secondary level is not what it needs to be, how impactful it can be on your defense, man. But as a whole, man, this dude has been playing extremely well this season, man. I've been really impressed with him, man. So you guys let me know your thoughts on what you've been seeing from Edmonds, man. If you're liking it, if you're optimistic about him continuing this or even getting, you know, better. Keep getting better. You think he has more on the table. But either way, I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby. Peace.